Okay, um, it looks like it's 2.30 on the dot. I do want to thank everyone for joining us on this Saturday afternoon. This is meteorologist Steve Lavoy uh, with our second Facebook Live winter weather briefing uh, regarding our impending winter storm. So with this winter storm, uh, we are impact, it is going to be very impactful in the Midlands tomorrow. Uh, winter weather headlines are now in effect for much of our forecast area. Uh, like yesterday, the predominant precipitation types continue to be freezing rain in the north, and it looks like a cold windswept rain for our southern counties. Uh, there could be a little bit of snow or sleet at the start and particularly the end of the event. Um, this is especially going to be the case for northern Lancaster County. So our farthest northern viewers, uh, particularly in the Finger area close to uh, Charlotte Metro. Uh, gusty winds, unfortunately, are going to be possible uh, still throughout the entire forecast area. We're looking at gusts potentially of 25 to 30 miles per hour, potentially a little bit higher as well. And uh, what that will do in areas that do see uh, freezing rain accumulations, that will increase the threat of seeing down trees and power lines, uh, potentially leading to more widespread power outages for those that are in the uh, uh, winter weather advisory and particularly the ice storm warning. Uh, the time of greatest impact has not changed too much. It's going to be late tonight into early Sunday afternoon. Uh, we're going to start off probably with a little bit of light rain. And that light rain will start to change over to freezing rain as the night goes on and temperatures start to decrease. So if it's 3, 4 in the morning at your location and you're still seeing just plain old rain, that doesn't mean that the changeover isn't going to happen. It just does look like that changeover is going to occur more in the 3 to 7 a.m. time frame. And then it'll change back over to rain from south to north. So the further south you are, you're less likely to see significant accumulations of freezing rain. And again, as we've been advertising since the start, it looks like the most significant impacts will be north of Interstate 20. And then on the back side of the storm, we may see some areas of patchy black ice on Monday morning. So there may still be some slippery spots, uh, particularly the farther north you go. Here are the latest headlines. See how these have not changed from early this morning. So an ice storm warning remains in effect for the northern Midlands. That's going to be Chesterfield, Fairfield, Kershaw, Lancaster, and Newberry counties. Uh, folks, if you're in these counties, uh, this is the time to, if you haven't made any uh, preparations, it's time to make them now. Uh, this is where we're expecting our highest amount of freezing rain accumulations. There is the potential for nearly impossible road conditions. Uh, travel may be nearly impossible during the day on Sunday, particularly in the morning. And we could see some widespread power outages. Again, the farther north you go, the more likely we're going to see that. And there is a potential for some extended power outages. So you do want to be prepared for that possibility. Uh, the remainder of the forecast area, for the most part, is under a winter weather advisory. Uh, the only exceptions are going to be Burke County, Georgia, and then Barnwell, Bamberg, and then southeastern Orangeburg counties do not have any headlines. Uh, the rest of us here uh, will have the potential to see at least a brief changeover um, and then a little glaze of ice. And then the further north you go, we could see some more accumulations, as I'll show. This is our thinking in terms of ice accumulations. So the red areas are the ones that are most susceptible to seeing impacts from this upcoming winter storm. Uh, and the areas in the orange, that does include a good chunk of the northern and central Midlands, including Columbia. Uh, these locations could see anywhere between a tenth and a quarter of an inch of ice. So for everyone in orange, it's definitely still a concern, just not as big of a concern as further north. So we definitely are expecting a period of freezing rain in the central Midlands, and there still could be some rough travel on Sunday morning, along with more isolated power outages potentially. Um, everyone down here in the yellow, this is including Aiken County. I've been in contact with a lot of people on Facebook from Aiken County, a lot of great people um, asking about accumulations. And for Aiken County, Augusta, Orangeburg, Manning, Lincolnton, these towns are expecting more of like a light glaze of ice. So impacts are going to be much more limited in the southern Midlands for you folks. And this is the overall threat 
are thinking here. So once again, areas in red are going to have the most significant risk of seeing extended power outages. And again, travel is going to be very dangerous during the height of the storm for anyone in the significant category. Um, but those in the elevated category, everywhere in orange, again, that includes the city of Columbia, we are expecting some freezing rain accumulations that could result in some power outages and dangerous travel conditions. So you want, uh, you want to limit your travel if you can on Sunday morning, even in the areas in orange. And then again, finally, there could be some limited impacts for everyone in yellow. But again, the worst is going to be basically above this line from Edgefield to Sumter. I had this graphic during yesterday's briefing. Freezing rain, unfortunately, is even worse than snow when it comes to impacts. And that's because freezing rain is going to be the type of rain that freezes on contact with the road, trees, cars, any type of surface. So it is very dangerous. And when the storm is at its peak, we want to watch out for falling branches and power lines. And if you must travel, use extreme caution, especially if you're in the ice storm warning area. And now again, it's the time. If you, you can take a quick look at your property this afternoon, and you know if you can, take down any weak or damaged branches you see around your home so that they don't gain uh, the added weight of the ice and fall potentially. Uh, you do not want to leave your vehicle wipers raised. And you definitely want to have several days of, at least several days worth of food and prescriptions ready to go just in case roads become impassable for a time and you, we do end up losing power in the northern midlands. Um, you do not want to park your car under any trees. And finally, make sure your, all your devices are charged now in case you do have an extended power outage where you are. Now, with everyone indoors, it's important to keep fire safety in mind. So be diligent uh, with, with, with your heating apparatuses, whether that's a simple candle, you want to use appropriate uh, fire safety with candles, electric blankets, um, and anything, even uh, space heaters. And then moving further to that, um, any of those um, gas heaters or um, handheld or portable uh, generators. Uh, so definitely check your smoke and carbon monoxide detectors now. Make sure they are operating and just use common sense and appropriate safety if you have any of those devices at your home. And finally, again, if you must head out, slow down, use caution if you're going to travel during the upcoming storm. And before you head out, check the latest road conditions. Check what is going on in your destination using our website, weather.gov. And again, if possible, try to hold off your plans. Uh, again, the worst of the storm looks to be Sunday morning. So if this is something that you can do later in the day, it might be a good idea to try to delay those plans.